The mind is deserving of the minutest possible analysis in this lesson because the mind is the energy with which all thinking is done. To learn how to think accurately, the teaching of which is the sole object of this lesson, one must thoroughly understand, first, that the mind can be controlled, guided, and directed to creative, constructive ends. Second, that the mind can be directed to destructive ends, and that it may voluntarily tear down and destroy, unless it is with plan and deliberation controlled and directed constructively. Third, that the mind has power over every cell of the body and can be made to cause every cell to do its intended work perfectly, or it may, through neglect or wrong direction, destroy the normal functionary purposes of any or all cells. Fourth, that all achievement of man is the result of thought, the part which his physical body plays being of secondary importance, and in many instances of no importance whatsoever except as a housing place for the mind. Fifth, that the greatest of all achievements, whether in literature, art, finance, industry, commerce, transportation, religion, politics, or scientific discoveries, are usually the results of ideas conceived in one man's brain, but actually transformed into reality by other men, through the combined use of their minds and bodies. Meaning that the conception of an idea is of greater importance than the transformation of that idea into more material form, because relatively few men can conceive useful ideas, while there are hundreds of millions who can develop an idea and give it material form after it has been conceived. Sixth, the majority of all thoughts conceived in the minds of men are not accurate, being more in nature of opinions or snap judgments.